The truth is that we're afraid of things, and those things are not really scary. And the proof for that is that life brought us to deal with many difficulties, and we, we passed those, those challenges, even if we were terrified to deal with them. But in the end, after the fact, you look at the past and you say, okay, I made it, I did it, it was okay. It was not as scary. The fear itself is causing us to be afraid from it. We're afraid from the fear and not from the challenge. Every challenge you can pass, because if life will bring you to that challenge, you will pass it. Somehow you're going to pass it with one leg, with one eye in the end. You're going to pass it. With one kidney, you're going to pass it. it, it you're going to survive. And even if you're going to die, so you died while fighting for the truth, doing the best thing. You made it. You, at least you died and with, with a noble cause, with a good reason, died on Kiddush Hashem. You, you're okay. You lived your life. What more than that can you do? But people are falling to fears and being paralyzed, not able to function and not to have no faith and not to breathe because of the fear itself and not because of the challenge. So when a fear is coming to attack you, you must put it in proportion in the right place. I am just afraid now. I'm not in a dangerous situation, I'm just terrified now. Yes, there is a train, but I can deal with it. Yes, there is a threat, but I can deal with it. The fact that I'm terrified, that's my main enemy. So what you should do against your fear, fight with your fear. And everyone will fight in a different way. And everyone will fight the way, will find the way to fight in his own way. To be able in the end of his life to say, I did it my way. <laughs> and to be happy with what that he did. And to be proud of himself on being loyal, on being who that he was, truthful to his truth, to the truth that he achieved to the real things that he felt that were important to live for and to die for. And against the fears we must fight like they are the worst enemy that we have. Because they are draining our power. They are destroying our life. Taking away the happiness of life and the satisfaction. You can sit in your house and being worried for years and years with no logic reason. Afraid to talk to people, afraid to go to the supermarket, afraid to tell your husband, afraid to answer your children, afraid to answer your phone, afraid to, to open the mail, afraid to, I don't know, to go to the swimming pool, to go to the sea, afraid to live, afraid to be righteous, afraid to, to, to keep Shabbat. And it's all a game of Yetzirah. It's all a trick of the evil inclination to paralyze you. And he found the best way. For one person, he's grabbing him in Parnassah, in money issues. One, he's grabbing him in relationship. One, he's grabbing him with health issues and paralyzing him completely. That's it. He found a way. He, he got you. And it's like an elephant or a camel that they're not wise enough to understand that it's a mice that is pulling them from the nose and taking them to some other place. They're just, oh, he's taking me. And they're going after their fears. No, no, but he's telling me, no, but I must, I must cook, I must fix, I must do, I must work, I must go to the doctor. No, no, no. Fight your fears and be brave to be who that you are. Say, I'm not cooking anymore. You know, you're not going to eat. You're not going to eat. Like it, was the, it would be the first time you haven't ate supper in your life. What? You will go to sleep crying. Like it was the first time you went go crying. If that hug in the middle of the night is a fake hug, so it's better to sleep alone. And we're not saying for good. The honesty and the truth can bring you only to good places. Even if it is bringing you to challenge and to deal with things that are very painful for you. And waking up memories from a past that you rather to forget. But lies 
and lack of honesty will never going to bring you to no kind of success because you're going to hate yourself on your success because you will know that it's only a fake success and not a real success because you were not truthful because you were not honest and your conscience won't leave you alone because God made us like Him that inside of us there is that like software, spiritual software, we cannot stand lies. We cannot, we cannot live with lies. Hashem is saying, and a person that is lying cannot stand in front of me. It's just a temporary world that in this world, in this period of time, we have a mission. What's the mission? The mission is only not to forget the Creator, to remember that it's all Him, never to fall in the trap of all of those coverings, of all of those husks.